you. <laughs> Not very smart to be roaming around just by yourself so late at night, don't you think? Makes you a bit of a vulnerable target, huh? Well, I suppose not to me, considering the embarrassing state you found me in. But there are many other creatures lurking around just like me. Vampires looking for easy prey. Don't go around making it too easy for them now. Generally, we like a bit of a challenge. Me? Oh, this is nothing. I just had a bit of a... falling out with a former comrade of mine. It seems that no matter how much you may try, it might never be enough for some. They'll always want to leech off of you more. Suck you dry. Sad, really. But I suppose at this point, not surprising. Greed is a universal problem for humans and vampires alike. Looks like there's no escaping it. You should go. I might look a bit pathetic, but I'm actually a great danger to you in this state. Blood will heal me, and so I crave it in a way that is nearly impossible to control at the moment. What's that look for? I may be a blood-sucking, cold-hearted creature of the night, but I actually don't really care for committing murder. Well, more than I have to, anyway. <clears throat> Sometimes it is simply inevitable. <laughs> don't get my intentions twisted. I couldn't possibly care less for the lives of you filthy humans. It's just that when too many of you are killed or start going missing, it becomes a bit of a headache for me when the rest start investigating too much into it. I've already had to deal with a mob of angry people showing up at my door with pitchforks and fire a few times in my life. It's much easier to simply avoid such circumstances. Help me? The only help you could possibly provide would be through your blood. But surely your good common sense should tell you to avoid that and run while you can. Perhaps common sense is not so common. You are still here. You're going to be an idiot. I may as well take advantage of it. <sighs> oh, I'm afraid you can't turn back now. You should have heeded my warning while you could. <sighs> You 
have any idea how much I've been holding myself back until now. You, in particular, always seem to drive me a bit crazy when we cross paths. There's something about you. My, what's got you so spooked? Here? Why, this would be your new home. Or would prison perhaps be the appropriate word for it? Either way, welcome to my humble abode. I know it's a bit dark. But what can I say? I like it that way. Three times. You and I have crossed paths with one another three times now. Normally, a human would be lucky to come across me and survive once, but somehow you've managed to get by three times. Maybe it's me. Maybe I was too soft on you. Either way, you should consider yourself quite lucky to be alive right now, considering how dumb your actions have been thus far. After you passed out earlier, I really did consider just ending you. But for some reason, I couldn't bring myself to do it. I suppose it really is something about your blood. It would be such a waste to just kill you and no longer have access to such a delicious treat. Never have I ever come across such delectable blood. Ever since our first encounter, I haven't been able to get the taste of you off of my mind. So... Instead of killing you, I decided to keep you here with me. At least for the time being. That way, I can enjoy your taste as much as I want, while I contemplate whether I should kill you off or not. <laughs> Don't try to talk your way out of this. Really, this is your own fault. I warned you. I told you to get away from me. But like a stupid, stubborn mule, you chose to disregard me. So, consider this the consequence for being a fool. For the time being, you should make yourself at home in this room. You'll be here for a while. Try not to mind any bizarre creatures or 
ghastly interactions you might come in contact with. This is somewhat of a safe haven for many creatures such as myself, and said occupants of this mansion can be quite curious. What do I mean? <laughs> well, I suppose you'll just have to wait and find out. Foolish human. Thank you.